I am just standing here in the breeze, listening to the birds, watching the pine trees sway, listening to dogs and kids all over the island. I am at our New Hampshire Airbnb property, which I will be sharing more with you because we have renters coming in five days, so we are getting it ready and I'll be back in a couple of days. Um, but today I had a little project of just getting some things ready for the deck so that it can just be beautiful. Should have done this a few weeks ago so things had more time to grow in, but whatever is what it is. So I just, I honestly, there's not too many places around here that are within a very short distance. Um, so I just ran to Walmart and I just grabbed some things at Walmart and I want to show you what I found because it was so surprising to me. But let's just listen for a minute. Just ignore the people yelling. In case you think it's too late to plant a garden, it is not too late to plant a garden. And here's what I just did. I just bought this Bonnie heirloom straight neck squash. Now I opened it up and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight squash plants in this one container. These are heirloom squash. That is an incredible number of squash to have for anybody. So I'm planting up this one container and it's just gonna have one squash in it. This is actually to go um, in a display of different plants that I'm doing. And when it gets nice and big, this container will just fill out and spill out and it will be an edible container. You wouldn't wanna put more than one in here because squash just gets really big. Right now it's gonna look a little silly, but given some time, It'll look really good. I could pop a couple herbs around it right now just so it doesn't look too silly. Like I could do this. And that way, um, let's see. What else could we do? Like I could do something like that just for now. And then if the squash gets too big and overtakes those herbs, then I could take them out. But I just want to show you what a great value that was. One plant and I got eight. I've got petunias, sedum, and this beautiful grass, which I just think is gonna give such, like it's gonna give some movement and it should be pretty easy to take care of because we'll only be here like stopping in to switch the house over from guest to guest. So I've got that one. And then I decided to do some edibles because I thought that would just be fun and more interesting. So you never know, like a guest could come and there might be a pepper, there might be squash. Right now it doesn't look like a whole lot of anything, but this one has that heirloom squash, two basil plants, and thyme. And as I said, if the squash gets too big, those will just move out and go somewhere else. And then I found this really fun pepper plant and I thought, what the heck, let's go for it. It has peppers on it. I think they're gonna turn red. And then, so this ended up being five dill plants from one and it ended up being two oops my little basil's getting lost in here two basil plants i'm gonna have to put a little more dirt in there to hold that up three basil plants looks like three basil plants i've got a sage a parsley rosemary and oregano i feel like monty with this one so this actually has a there's a table that has a cutout so you won't really see this pot you'll just see the top and as those herbs get nice and big it's going to grow up and kind of the table will look like this beautiful herbal um, centerpiece so i thought that'd be kind of cool so dave is teaching on the deck right now because his class um, at the university is virtual so he was able to do it from here we're kind of scrambling to get the last things done and uh, my task is to, of course, get some beautiful plants out here. And next time I come back, it's gonna be to beautify the house. So I should be able to show you some of that. I'll be making the beds and just putting the finishing details on the house. And if you're curious about, you know, what an Airbnb might look like before the guests come and 
kind of what you put into it, I can show you a little bit of that. Uh, we're really excited to be doing this because um, we are trying to change the way our income comes in. This was just a great opportunity to explore and see how it works. We'll give it one summer and see what we think of it. Um, this is a house that Dave has had in New Hampshire on a lake for, I don't know, a, over a decade maybe? Like, I would say over a decade. And um, because our kids are teenagers and they're working and they have all sorts of things going on, it's just not viable for us to be here. And also because we are lowering our incomes because we don't want to spend as much time working it just isn't really viable to have this space um, and so it's kind of an exciting little adventure that we really decided very like just a few weeks ago to do so we've been kind of frantically getting the house together so I will invite you into that and show you but I just got so excited when I saw eight heirloom squash for the price of one and I didn't even notice when I bought the plant. I thought there were two. I just didn't look at the at the uh, at the bottom. Um, but that is like that's a good deal. I'm excited to go home and plant that squash in my garden. All right, so I have to be kind of quiet because he's teaching. But I wanted to show you some befores because I am notoriously horrible at remembering befores. So we spent not last summer, but the summer before. The entire summer renovating this house, painting everything, uh, new lighting, new hardware, just everything. It's sort of a mid-century modern house. I was going for that vibe, but a little bit of like lakeside mixed in and like thrifty and whatever I could find. So this, every bed has been stripped. We have all new sheets, all new bedding, all new pillows, all new duvets. And so you will see quite a transformation. Dave was spot cleaning the couches, so the pillows are off. I did all fake plants for this house because I'm not gonna be here to water, and I just didn't trust that that would be like the best long-term idea. And we can leave these in the winter, so that just seemed like the best idea to not have to bring the plants home, which I've done. I've done that in the past. I bring all the plants home in the winter. And uh, this way, I don't have to do that. So that's awesome. Uh, and so basically, it's just a mess. We're like in, like I'll show you the before of the table. Dave said this is the very last thing he's going to take care of. And I will transform that table, this dining area, into a magical space. The sun porch is a mess right now. It will be transformed. Yeah, so like this. Dave's like, do you like having to walk over all this stuff? This is what things look like before I get to them. <laughs> get to make them beautiful. So here we go. All new bedding. It's just everything's waiting for the sheets and the duvets and the pillowcases to be washed. And then you will see what happens in here. This is a really cool looking room once it's done. We've got a nice black blackout curtain. I know it's really dark in here right now. Um... I put some novels in there so people could come and like sit and read a book on the deck, looking at the lake or sit on the beach. I had to switch out the curtains because I had promised Chloe she could have the curtains that were in here before we had planned to do the Airbnb and they're super cool curtains. So I had to find something that was like close to how cool they were. I didn't really hit it, but it's not, not too bad. This fan is one of the best things we ever found. I love that fan so much. So you can peek at Dave teaching out there. Just wanted to show you out at the lake because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful at this time of night, like magic hour. And though it's overcast, it's really beautiful. And then we've got a day bed here, so I'll be making that look really cute. There's so, there's so much to do in five days, but we will get it done and it will be, it will be pretty magical. This is the magic lake house after all. Well, this is my only way to water right now is the tea kettle. So it'll have to do. I don't want to give him too much water because we still have to move him down a considerable way. And I don't want him to be too heavy, but 
I also know that in this heat without some water, they will not make it. It smells amazing. We'll do a check-in with the garden soon. This is just a quick one. I wanted to just show you that little project I was doing and inspire you. If you think it is too late to put, like, to grow your own food, it is not, and you don't need a garden, you can throw it in a pot, and you can buy eight zucchini squash for the price of one. All right, thanks for being here, appreciate you.